Hello, you've reached the Sam and Max Freelance Police Dispatchery. Please let us know what needs to be blown up and we'll be on our way. I should have known you were going to say that. That's how I get... That's how I deal with spam calls. Yeah, I just... They hear the word freelance police and they hang the fuck up. I haven't had a... I haven't had one of those types of calls in about three months. I just ignore any phone number that I don't already have saved to my phone. Fair enough. Probably smarter, but... What I did was a little more fun. Yeah, I just registered on the no-call list, which does nothing. Which I'm pretty sure is a uh, call me scammers registry. Yeah, it's real great that we have uh, these magical phone devices in our pockets that anybody can call can call or text us and just go, like, hey. Would you be interested in getting scammed? Proof, we're the smartest and dumbest generation at the exact same time. Yeah, I have a... a, a well, I'm pretty sure it's a scam right here on my phone. Our kids will see what technology does to us and figure out that it's probably not the best to trust it with just about everything. Plus, Batman Beyond is a thing. The scarecrow, instead of using toxins, drives the AI's and puts out a high pitch frequency, overloading the the fear and the brains of people. Yeah. yeah, we got through. I got one through level, one of the complete level without us even acknowledging the game. Oh right, hold the phone is. One of the uh, month like, game among games that Yahtzee was doing. So you made twelve games that year. Yep. And this is uh, they they go like through many genres, and this is one of the genres games that I liked. So recorded a let's play. Yep. Uh, this game is purposely infuriating. <laughs> this. Why does he keep doing the dip dipidities? So that's just how he be. He's a fancy man. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I just he got annoyed because the number the person went back was wrong. So, and if your stress level is high enough, it'll just go over the top, and it'll, his hat will pop out. <laughs> we'll be seeing that a couple of times during our watching. Oh, he complete, completed the level. Nice work. Good. Yeah, I wouldn't expect me to one-shot all these levels. Especially not the last one. You one-shotted the last two. Uh, but those were just the training levels. We'll get to the real hard stuff. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, if you look at the top of the phone, you'll notice that the battery percentage is going down. And that's because the... It, it does wireless charging, but the battery's crap. Must be a brand new iPhone. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they have to stand over by the charging 
the charger to get it to charge. But you have all your important documents on the other side of the room. Why not just bring the important documents over? He doesn't have arms, really, so... Presumably he just holds things the way Home Star Runner does. Strapping them right to his friggin' chest yeah. by slamming down onto them. Yeah. Oh my, Sophia. I can't go into my attic again. There's a squirrel that's stuck in there and it sounds like a spooky ghost. Mm. Really nailing your Adam Sessler, Adam Sandler impersonation of Homestar Runner. Oh, my snot. Strong bad beat the snot out of me. It's like a, there's at least uh, three Home Star Runner characters with no visible arms. Uh, which I think, which leads me to my final conclusion of the King of Town is an Eldridge of Abomination. Yeah. He's the the devourer everybody claims Kirby is. But Kirby uses the powers and spits them out later. Yeah. What happens when you leave one of those powers alone? It turns back into its base form, back form, its spawn. Yeah, the, the king of town is mostly just like, I'm gonna eat a uh, wall, uh, asbestos, uh, the wall fell in. And he's fine after some gas. Yep. So I, I called a number to get a number to call. That's kind of... Yeah, that's kind of the whole point of the game. He must be trying to get a doctor's appointment for his blood pressure. Uh, this is the... This is the level in which... Uh, the uh, guy's uh, uh, IBS comes into play. Uh. So. You sometimes uh, please call back when you have woken up. When you have woken up. Yeah. And they all. It's fun in a variety of ways, such as when you have woken up, or please try being more like a cheetah. Anyway, the good thing is that it, this now introduces the mechanic of periodically go into the bathroom, which is basically the only way to have his uh, stress meter go down. Oh, good to know. And it's only three levels? Eight levels. Oh, wow. And, uh, the area we're in right now. Now look, here comes the death. And the area we're in is just the beginning room. Yeah, Mr. Lake, that's his name. Yeah, for obvious reasons. 
Iya. I could imagine if they went with Mrs. Legs. Well, we'll see his wife in an upcoming level. If the knees are jiggly, what else is? I'm sorry, that's the low flow. Well, I described the, uh, the uh, art, art direction of, um, as being the like outside of the Mr. Lazy books. Didn't he like invent something to invent everything that comes out of his head? Uh, yeah, he did, which is by far the laziest thing ever. But we keep winding back at Kratos keeping Are we in the Simpsons writing room? Oh yeah. Or Futurama writing room? Yeah. Well, it's very... Let's test let's test let's test this out. If we find ourselves in a getting pushed into a volcano after I say this, it's that's the case. Star Trek. No one's looking at me angrily, so that's a good sign. Well, it's better than being in the Cyberpunk 2077 writer's room. It's not a bug, it's gender dysphoria, and it's a feature. Now, yeah. Well, the, the oops, story writing at uh, 2077 is just, you know, being part robot is like being trans, and that's bad. Go kill those wild trans robots. I need to pick up the tabletop RPG book. Game. I have to play a good cyberpunk game. We'll invite some people and I'll happily have you at my table. That could be possible. I know you're not the most socially affluent, but... See. So this wearing a mask to pretend that you're someone else who can handle social interaction and not be like this guy's battery. Yeah. Looking at cyberpunk games is Deus Ex System Shock. Uh, Vow Hall, Vow Eleven Hall, Hall A, Cloud Punk, uh, Beneath the Steel Sky, Blade Runner, Katana Zero, Snatcher, uh, uh, Sense of Sense of Cyberpunk Ghost Story, which I think would be all fun games to play rather than 2077. Yep. I think there were more features than actual features, if you catch my drift in 2077. But Minecraft has some of those same types of features. Oh, then we're not thinking the same features. They were made in features. Just leave it at that. Yeah. I was thinking more of the features that Sense has. Let's 
look at these features. Yes, those are some very nice features. Yeah. And we, uh, I guess we could talk about the game. Is that the hat that is the wallpaper? Yep. Yeah, we, uh, the bowler hat that Mr. Legs likes to wear. So, I told you I fixed up my 3D printer. I went through about 10,000 lines of code to figure out what the error was. Mm -hmm. I had to change the word disable to enable. One word out of 10,000 lines of code. With no way I can fill in the settings because apparently it was for Ender. The. What I got was for Ender. Pro B2 instead of an Ender 3 Pro, which is pretty much exactly the same, just wired differently. Uh, just, just... Now look, I finished the level! Yay! On to level 4! Oh. oh, wait, this is the one with that problem. <laughs> A, uh, a feature which will continue through the rest of the game's levels. Yep. Which is who this is? Why do you need the credit card number before even talking to the patient? Like... Yeah, though we'll, we'll get uh, into some. We are ridiculous levels of, uh, you know, stuff entry. We right. will be disconnected and mocked by our staff. I understand that all that is time management and resource maintainment is an uh, important thing to teach kids, but. You show this to a child, I think they'll ask for Breath of the Wild, where you're doing just about the same thing, just... I'm pretty sure the child would be like, What is this game? It doesn't look like Roblox. Yep. Honestly... I honestly think Ro Roblox was made to try and compete with Minecraft, but it's not really meant as a kid's game for some reason. I, for the longest time, I just thought that Roblox was like the Duplo to the Minecraft Lego. Uh, basically, but different company. Imagine if Steve had access to Roblox weapons. Why? The Ender Dragon would be a total king pushover. Why? I uh, purposely ignore learning anything about Roblox. The Homer Simpson tax system would probably be the way to fix this game. You know how Homer Simpson does his taxes? He sits on he sits on the toilet to do the thing and he keeps all the 
return of receipts underneath the toilet. Which, God forbid, if that's that thing barely able to hold its weight, does the springs leak in the plumbing systems? Uh, I think you'd have to be pretty happy to break a toilet under your weight. Homer's not the lightest guy in the world, though. Nor is he the heaviest. Yeah, that would probably be Clancy Wigan. <laughs> Didn't he take, like, a sniper bullet to the stomach and... Well, somewhere in his belly rolls. Yeah. I'm thinking of the, the scene where he gets shot and he's like, Good thing I'm wearing my Kevlar vest. Cut to it hanging in the car. Damn it! You can say the vest makes you look slimming, but... I don't think the, that's the kind of outfit that does slimming, it's mostly bulking. Well, when you're covered in... Well, when you're covered in black like Batman. Titanium Kevlar and all. Honestly, if you could direct, if you could choose one superhero to make a movie out of, who would it be? Um, I pick Zantana. Ooh, that would be fun. The Scarlet Witch, but more powerful. Uh, I would say. Solomon Grundy. I know he's not a hero, but has kicked Superman's ass when it's needed. Yeah. Like when you're when a zombie is giving truth justice in the American way a run for its money. Mm -hmm. And to see his story from start to end would be amazing. Born on a Monday, married on a Tuesday. Etc. Etc. Yeah. Died on a Saturday. Resurrected on a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Here's my idea. For you know, you do the Santana movie, but you make it look like a Russ Meyer film. Throw Josh Constantine and and Dr. Chip in there, and you got yourself one kick-ass movie. Yeah. The greatest detective in the world. You know, if the people running the uh, DCEU were better at the jobs, we'd already have a detective Chip movie already. But seriously, they would have had it animated instead of live action. Well, the DC animated movies tend to turn out better than the live action fair. Seriously, that just makes a lot more sense. Did he not even get his battery fixed? No, you're just stuck with your... Depleting battery and bow problems. Wow. That's a way to go about things. If you could take the cutscene engine of one game 
and turn it into a movie, what would it be? Um, from what I saw of the trailer for the one new One Piece game, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking uh, of a uh, of a Neverware uh, uh, engine. That does fun facial recognition. Yeah. thing that, uh, that we really don't need is more uh, Hollywood video game movies. We just gotta give up on Hollywood in total. Yeah. Okay. They, they can have their little local uh, award ceremony and then we can just um, go anywhere else for good movies. Yep. The, the, the animation category for the Oscars is proof enough that it's a joke. Ooh, let's go to new grounds for movies. Yeah. Um, or after still have meeting between sessions of game ropes. Look, I finished the level. I forget what it was even about. Obviously not getting your phone fixed. Yeah. This is too hard. Yeah. Yeah, uh... Does he have to keep his dog off the off the couch. Yep. That or he didn't see the text, but that's uh or uh we're calling the vet to have her dog fixed. Oh, that's sad. I I don't think you can fix a dog in such a way to keep going off the off the things surgically. Basically. Right. If you're calling the calling the vet for that, I would say just let him be for the time being. Yeah, but uh, the dog can then, like, when they get up on the couch, they can see into the outside world and start barking at the people walking by. Not like they disconnect you for having a dog barking in the background. Mm. Yes, but it will annoy Mr. Legs. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and I haven't done any research into this, but I'm going to call keeping the couch cushion up. <laughs> while waiting for the dog to jump onto it. Dog canceling. <laughs> That's genius. Uh, I'm sure we'll see me perform a excellent dog hit. Yep, there it is. If there's speed runs for this game, I think we found it. I'm pretty sure a, a speed run would actually finish the game. Fair enough. Probably like Tic Tac Toe, the best winning move is not to play. Yeah. I know there are such a thing as any percent speed runs. That's really more regarding the items you get and not just. Like uh, I'm done with the game. Like Dr. Muto, unfortunately. Yeah. Have you played that game? No, but I have watched the Nitro Ride video. 
They ship. They changed the map at the last second, so not all the collectibles were available. Yeah. So you can only any percent speed run, not one hundred percent speed run. Uh, um, in the show, some cool content and and references in there. I'm sure it's some industrious uh, gamers could, you know, change the map so that they, you can actually get those collectors. It's all on a GameCube disc, though. If someone can read and modify a GameCube disc, more power to them. making games that look like GameCube games, so I'm sure they could do such a thing. Okay, I can hear my thing. I can hear things now. I, uh, we basically dressed the same today. Sweatpants, black shirts, white socks. Yeah, that's fine. Twinsies. Uh, I, uh, today I came up with a brilliant idea to use time travel to make money. Oh, uh, so. Okay. Here's the idea. You you go to the bank and you withdraw money. Then, you go back in time to, let's say, a day before, and then you deposit that money back into your checking, back into your account. Ah, uh, so basically Majora's Mask. Yep. I th I'm thinking, if you, um, when you withdraw your money, withdraw all your money, then would that just create a, a loop giving you infinite money? I wonder if Elon I wonder if that's Elon Musk's secret. I'm sure if I go mis if I disappear mysteriously, that's the case. But if not no. I'm pretty sure we could explain Elon's, Elon Musk's uh, fortune through more pedestrian means. <laughs> pedestrian. You know, like the idea of you go to the bank and you, let's say you have $500 and you request all of your money. Then when you go back, you have the original 500 plus the new 500. That reminds me of a malicious compliance story. Basically, there was someone working in South Korea who was born in America and living there. Mm -hmm. Living and working there, but not a citizen there. And the rent was due. This guy was trying to say, Hey, can I get an ex- Hey landlord, can I get an extension? But the so he asked the banker a couple questions because she was not a fan of at all. Dang videos done. So he cancels his account and gets all his money mm -hmm. back. Gets the money set aside for the rent. And then makes a new account and puts the rest of the money into there. Franklin doesn't realize this until after, and he's laughing his ass off about it. Yeah. He writes it all down so he knows how to help his customers in the future. Uh.
Which is, which is, which in the long and short of it is the bisexual agenda. And there are 69 reasons for it. In the short form. Yes. 420 in the long form. Yes, you said the funny numbers. Funny, funny. As it is necessary for... As is necessary for the internet, because they're the second most easy to... Second most easy groups to everything. You want to know the number one group? What? Adam Sandler movie enjoyers. Yeah. Get off that couch. Just gonna... So we're gonna, at this point, since I'm like a pixel away from death, I'm just waiting for the bathroom thing to come up before I try again. Nice. That's one way of doing it. Reminds me of my fight with the Ender Dragon. I was thinking, you, uh, you ever played uh, Borderlands 2? Yes. Yeah. I usually go sniper though. Ti I was thinking about picking up Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Because apparently there apparently there's now a source book for all the gods and stats and such. So a tiny Tino's Wonderland themed D and D session. Everyone would be a gunslinger, but that's fine. Because who keeps track of their regular MO, let alone their bullets? Uh, in the uh... Borderlands 2, when I, I play the um, the guy with the two guns. Yeah. Uh, and the, the way the final boss is uh, made is that you're obviously supposed to be out there on that, like, platform fighting the boss up close and personal. But you can also just go all the way back to the start, to the area where you, you know, jump down to and then just snipe him from there. Yep. So that's what I did. Just And it's just and they have like the like a little area with like like replenishing ammo. So you can just snipe and then go back to the ammo. And go back to your sniping juice with fun. I mean that it does basically make you mean that you're chipping away at the boss's health. But if you get the uh, like ammo or electricity, like the acid guns, yep, you can just acid fire. Electricity sniper. Yep, special munitions. Yep. Tactical munitions, I think they're called. Dog canceling again? Yep. The, the, I forgot to mention it, but one of the reasons why our dog is acting up is because the room with a bone pattern on the wall. Oh my god. I just bring him out of the room, though. Yeah. Well, you, since Mr. Legs doesn't have any arms, you'd have to kick him out of the room. 
or just tap his foot and say, here, boy. And I'm about to die. There I go. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of time spent on level 6 and 7. Yep. But yeah, now that my 3D printer is working for Silk PLA at the very least, what should I print next? Uh... The Athlop proves this color. Uh... I think. It's pink, right? Is it pink or red? I'm gonna look it up. I think red, but... Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's shaped like a heart. I'm gonna say red. Yeah. Oh, that could be mistaken for pink. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll just call it Barney colored. <laughs> and, uh, so I just showed you the the shape of the off off food. You want to guess what law causes pirates? Appalachians? Nope. I is in the pun. In a bit. <laughs> Puns are my go-to. Because I'm funny, but what's on everything? Anyway, what do they... Law's pirate group is the Heart Pirates. Ah. And this also doubles because the man who saved his life, Corzo. Uh. And I, I shouldn't start talking about One Piece because then I'd, it'd be the only thing I talk about during the entirety of this video. Well, we'll pick up the One Piece game, so we can talk about that. Yeah. Ooh, we could emulate the, uh, the party game. Which one? Uh, the one on the GameCube. Mario Party? Yeah, they have a... One Piece has its own little Mario Party thing. Oh. Cool. Yeah. I'll get the dolphin emulator up and running. Yeah. So, uh, Mario Party game and Mario Kart yeah, are just one of the things that tons of brands have. Nice. Like, like, well, oh, we could play the, uh, it the M&M's Kart Racer. To be fair, there are a couple, a couple of m that have drastically changed their designs. One of them was a peanut m m who got her nuts removed. Good for her. Yeah. I knew you were going to say that. Trans M? No. Trans m and -er. That pun is a car crash, and you know it. But a fun car crash to watch. Pretty sure I'm going to die here. Uh, I think you managed to save this one. Just yeah. barely. Then I have to dog cancel. Yeah, this is the. This whole game is built around the, the thing where the more frustrated the, you get, the worse you play at a game. Like the same way that. Basically, the same way Five Nights at Freddy works, but it uses fear instead of frustration. 
You have limited powers and you want to try to keep track of the monsters. But looking for the monsters gives takes up your power, which makes you need to know where the monsters are. Until one of them sneaks up and gets you, or you survive till six six AM. Or spam spam or ham if you're playing one piece. Which is like if Freddy Fazbear could transcend the plot and just go around a lot more freely. Yeah. That's actually not a game joke. I should download that for us to play. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've never played uh, Five Nights at Freddy's game. You will fix that. Yes. My little brother loves loves it. These games tend to be loved by younger audience. They're especially successful on YouTube because you can do the face cam thing and just be like, ah, yeah. a bear jumped out of me. Ah! I'm working on the OC so we can just go JPEG or PNG to work with it. Yeah. Bring you the legs. I wonder if there's any furries out here for the who are into the furries. That's a uh, that's a good thing to learn. If you're into this diet and are furry, let us know in the comments below. Now there are a plenty of hot. Uh, where you would anime characters to be into. Lady Seraphina. The girl version of the... That, that one guy. The uh, girl with the horror. Yep. Or if you like that way, the furry instructor. Yeah. Lava Torres. That's his name? I'm pretty sure. Kind of unfortunate, but. I charge the phone, cancel the dog, and then call. You know, the, uh, uh, for a bit ago, they were, there's the, uh, picture trend of, uh, post your most cancelable blank thing, like, blank opinion. It's just like, every once in a while, there's just a trend, which is exactly the same thing, the last version of the trend. It's just worded differently. The, the last version of this was just uh, post your opinion. I'll have the blind community at you like this. It'd be like a picture of Flint Rider with all the swords pointed at him. Yep. That or John Wick with all the guns pointed at him. I think that's how we would. I think that's how Tony Stark would have stopped Thanos. We give John Wick the dog with the Infinity Stone in it. The Mad Titan comes to you and said, 
and demands the stone. Oh, it's right in that dog. Is that your big plan? I'll cut him open. Alright, just cut him wide open. John Wick walks in. Hey, have any of you seen my dog? I don't care how mad the Titan is. The Baba Yaga is... Thanks. All that, all the ass. Yeah. Uh, it's funny that you should mention his uh, nickname is the Baba Yaga. They say means the boogeyman, which it does not. Proving people are only as smart as. As a cursory Google Play, uh, Google search. Dog cancel. Oh, it's randomly generated. Yep. So you can't just go in and memorize shit. Yeah. So, all uh, new documents and phone numbers are randomly generated, so... But, uh, that picture on the, on the wall is the wedding of Mr. and Mrs. Legs, and sometimes you have to, uh, Answer the your wedding date. I've seen that. That's interesting. Like, sure, you need security, but that much security. And yeah, I miss the time to enter a number, so that uh, bathroom break was wasted. Dog cancel. Nice yeah. work. Uh, I'm at the... At like... 5% away from dying, so... I gotta make sure... I am gonna die because I can't make it to the bathroom. What a shitty situation. But um, chew. That belongs in the bowl. I don't care what anyone says. As you can see, I've spent a lot more time. I probably spent as much time on level six as I did on all the previous levels. That's, that's fair. Yeah, they added a lot more. I, uh, have to make sure to let you know how infuriating the game is before they get the idea of easiness. Trying to play it themselves. Yeah. Something not to tell is a game that's so hard becomes so big it gets a sequel. Yeah. That takes place on the other side of that planet. The Presumably the ice side of the planet. Yep. Yeah. It was called Sub Zero, which honestly, Jack's epic guy. Don't interest for the game when it was being showcased. So, or worse. Well, we've, we've been at this for an hour. Yep. At, uh, hour 47. Second, uh... They, in, uh, One Piece, there's an island, a uh, park hazard. And yep. it's one half is a frozen tundra, and the other half 
is a magma, like, fire island. And that's because the, uh, I can't remember names. Uh, Admiral Akinu and Al Kaiji did a big battle, and their magma and ice sky, respectively. So just imagine how hard that battle went. Yep. Uh, uh, one of the characters, it was uh, basically a poison island, presumably before they started their battle. Quick, bathroom break. Dog oh, cancel. Charge him. Dog oh, cancel. Did you know they hire musicians to come up with the worst songs possible to try and keep people off of hold? I've been on hold quite a number of times in my life. Pretty sure there's just people who make like annoying lounge music. There's something that I did one time. I made a monologue while I was on hold. About lesbianism being in the Astro District. And apparently, someone was listening. Mm -hmm. The managers were listening on the waiting, on the hold, to make sure no one was swearing or whatever. Yeah. Some sort of random call. Thing. Monitoring their employees' performance. Yeah, so the manager burst in laughing. Oh, are you here to help me with my problem? After making me laugh that hard, yes. I'm happy to help. On one condition, let me use this as the holiday Christmas party. It was like November at the time. Oh, happily. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they, uh, they keep it, the, like, recordings from all you long. I'll have to, I wrote that monologue down, I'll have to see if I can find it. Yeah. This Reese's packaging is no match for your self-defense ring. Yep. The only reason I made it in size 7 was my aunt has a size 7 ring finger, mm -hmm. and she's been taking my nephew out on walks. And have you seen the rate of certain things in New Jersey? They're the highest for a couple things, and they're not good things, so self-defense. They rip open boxes pretty hastily. Can't believe that. Also, that would be that would be fun. Just have ten and just. I'm actually gonna work on the Bitcoin tool for that. Just the one bar three. Three big spikes and four tiny spikes. I'm thinking of uh, 
you know, you get the tab, and you just climb back. Like, and then you, if you have glasses, you do the cat and curl adjustment. Yeah. So, card capture Sakura versus Sailor Moon. Who do you think would win in a 1v1? Oh. Um, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. I'm thinking you know, that we have, the, we have a competition of fashion, and it's, uh, uh, since Sailor Moon can, uh, be whatever uh, costume she wants, um, versus Sakura's uh, various magical outfits. Fashion show it ends up in a tie, and neither one wants to talk about it, so they start the uh, fight. Tarot cards versus whatever Sailor Moon does, other than throw our crown, aging people to dust. Yeah. And telling people that you will be your friend, making, your, making them explode because this one person cannot handle friendship yeah. at all. For anyone who knows what I'm talking about, feel free to leave a comment in the below or above if that's what winds up happening. Because I jokingly said this one time, it's going to be search bar, comment section, video. Yeah, that's, uh, as Mr. Likes, by the way. Yeah. It's basically the looks the same as Mr. Likes. Uh, presumably with eyelashes. Yes, because eyelashes are what make female female. Mm -hmm. you, uh, that or you could have uh, eyelashes and the uh, beauty mark. Yep. Welcome to welcome back to R slash pointlessly gendered. Mm -hmm. If your character is a going, if your male female character is all going to be blue and pink, it's see it. And there's the eyelashes or just the full on, yeah, breasts on a type of bird or animal that doesn't have breasts. Yep. Like, what's her face from regular show? Mordecai was not the protagonist. It was Rigby. And no one can change my mind. I've only seen like a handful of that, of that show, so... <laughs> Basically, Mordecai was the art student who had to, who dropped out because he didn't want to be without Rigby. Rigby was such a slacker, but had a quite solid head on his shoulders. He was just too lazy to use it. Yeah. And he managed to get the girl 
who he didn't want at first, but he wanted initially. Over time. Time and... Yep. <laughs> you're just saying, like, you're just listening, not absorbing anything, right? Basically. At least you're honest about it. Yes. I have have uh, an entire section of my brain dedicated to One Piece. Fair enough. I, uh... All the... board and water building. Yeah. Chef kiss. I say for the audio. Sanji. To be fair, he kind of has the most interesting self-imposed rules. Yeah. So he can hold chef utensils. Uh -huh. Most chef utensils are sharp or blunt or both. Yes. Your knives and wool pens. I was thinking steak tenderizer. The it's a hammer. It's sh that's sharp on both ends. Yeah. He could hold one of his magical anime transformation cans in another, and one hand, and a uh, steak tenderizer in, in the other hand. But he doesn't use his hands for combat. He would use the tool. He doesn't use the tool. He swings the soup ladles around. Cooking. There's a point in uh, Whole Cake Island where his sword is like, Sword, fight me. And Sanji's just like, Get that crap out of my face. Kick. Uh, like the playtesters for the Kirby games. Like... Did you know when Men Knight used to throw the sword at you, you could kick it away? I did not. They programmed that out, so you have to take the sword to fight him. Mm -hmm. Which, if Kirby's a baby, did Men and I find the Well of Eternal Youth and just be a big star warrior forever? Or do they come out full size? I don't know the first thing about Kirby breeding. I don't think anyone does. Or should. Kirby is a baby. Yeah, the, the Kirby in Mennonite uh, race, they just kind of appear like Yoda. Star Warriors. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, and they recently. Oh, so close. Yeah. So close. But, uh,. Recently, there's a fight that Sanji gets into, where he, it's a uh, him versus Black Moria. Drag me? I'll uh, put a picture for you. Uh, like, uh, he's paralyzed by drag queens, right? Uh... Well, he spent two years of the time skip running away from the drag queens. Though, uh, Ivankov can actually make them women. That's sort of like... No, you're lying to me! You're still ugly men! That'd be one way to go about it. This is Black Maria. Uh, wait, he also refuses to fight. Yeah. So, does he just 
So his plan is just to outlast her and until she's worn out. Yeah. Well, uh, during a flashback to Sanji Zoo, he the guys on the Baratie are just uh, like, "Come on, hire a woman, hire a woman," and Seth's up is like, "No, I refuse." And it's like because. Chef Zef does all his teaching through kicking. So, it says, Oh, you did this wrong. Bonk. And Sanji's like, It's fine, you can just kick her. And he kicks her. Because, No, a man should never kick a woman. Or hit a woman. It's chivalry. It goes back to the age of the dinosaurs. Yep. Uh, uh, Sanji has never fought a woman, and most likely never will. And the- Wouldn't he have sparred with any of the straw hats while traveling? Uh, well, they don't really spar. It's mostly just Nami beating up the other crew comically. Well... <sighs> taking a hit teaches you how to take the hit better. Oh, it's mostly just her using the force of comedy to give them big lumps on their heads. But, uh, yeah, so the, the fight between Sanji and Black Maria is him, is him caught in hit, a in her spider web and not using hockey because then she could hurt her hand punching him. Huh. Yeah. So he does know how to use hockey yeah. to become untouchable. And... Yes, you all. That, it's funny because like he get, what he does is uh, like fire kicks it doesn't burn his legs. And the, the pre, like, hockey everywhere being, like, explanation is that his heart burns, like, hotter than the flames. Because, uh, I know, uh, best dude ever prefers that explanation over the explanation of using hockey. It's just like, Pocky's just a, like, your willpower manifested. So that's pretty much the same thing as his heart burns harder than the flames. As you can see, we're still on level 6. Yep. Let's see if we can find any interesting topics to talk about. Scarlet Witch versus Zartana? My money's on Zartana though. Scarlet Witch was never really stayed in a group long enough to get adequate training. Anytime she went south, she left. Right. Let's, let's go. Well, uh, there is a, a funny kind of detail that one of the, that they had um, Benedict uh, Cumberbatch on like contract for WandaVision because one of the ideas was basically that Doctor Strange would come in and be like, help her with her powers. And then somewhere he's like, wait, so we have a, a woman who has lost control of her emotion powers. So a man shows up 
and tells her how to do it. And it's almost like, yes, that does sound very bad when you say it like that. Let's not do that. But that was like a big thing in the comics for her character. And they put it in the movie after the the movie after one vision. Anyway. Yeah, but uh you know, something else we need to do optics about. I think Captain Marvel should have been told by Tony Stark that she has a drinking problem. Though, so, no, seriously, that would be a fun way of slapping some sense into Carol Wannabe Basket. Hopefully, this this Marvel movie is good because for the character. I'm not gonna lie. Anyone who can automatically befriend Lockjaw, the inhuman, is a good person. Like, a really good person. I'll be back. It's a wonderful day to be in the editing dungeon of Shala the. Ace Gamer. I think that's a very fancy enough impressive title. Boop, bop, beep, boop. Calling the number. Anyone play any VR? I have a referral link for anyone who wants to use it. Comment, it'll be in the description below. But seriously, Carol Danvers, Miss Marvel, worst superhero movie to come out. Well, that's a bold claim when there are movies like Catwoman. Catwoman was trying to use the least sold storyline of her comic book. Mm -hmm. The makeup that makes you invulnerable. Like, you apply a, a single coat, it's, your skin becomes bulletproof. Yeah. But it didn't fix the internal damage, like muscle bruising, any, any broken arteries or veins. It was a discount super soldier serum, which kind of worked, kind of didn't. And who didn't want to see Catwoman though? The well, in the um, movie, her name's like Hope Constance or whatever. So they didn't even put actual Catwoman in it. They use, they use Batman Beyond Catwoman in modern day Bruce Wayne Gotham. So I don't think we get to complain about. Oh, it should have been like this. They had, they were using what they could, which, to be fair, wasn't a lot, but still, it was something. Tried their darndest and they got what they got. Yeah. The thing I made is called the thing I most recently made is called a crampet. It's one of those spinny knives. I attach a taser to it. I've got. One of the ultimate weapons, just stab, button, electrocute. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're uh, coming up on another death. That's why, why we're going to see that.
up back to thank you. My pleasure. To the to when I picked up the recording again. Right. Mash down rage, which quit the game and the recording. Which is why I vamped a little bit, giving you an excellent name if you choose to accept it. Fair. Shala, the excellent gamer. Uh. So. I prefer the shower of the adequate game. Alright, we'll go with that then. Yep. So, so the state of Nintendo is as such. The CEO is at his desk, listening to pitches. The Mario Odyssey team is, hey, can we do a summer odyssey? 10,000 moons and kingdoms we haven't gotten to yet, like the Shine Sprite Kingdom and the Beanie. Mm -hmm. then, then the Breath of the Wild team walks in and says, hey, can we do a sequel to Breath of the Wild, please? Then everyone's favorite Kirby creator and says, Yo, Bluff Lost Lands, can we do this? Name one of your boss fights. Brawl in this ball. Can I put a brawl in this ball? Can I put a brawl in this ball? A brawl in this ball. He says he just goes for it. Kirby and the Lost Lands comes out a couple months later. Now we're just waiting for other characters like Starfy to come back. Like Kirby, but underwater. Yeah. And they've perfected 3D and VR, so boom. Yeah. There's your answer. Just have a 3D mode so you can find secrets. Or if you have a VR spin shooter. Yeah. Are you getting too close? Spin and knock them away. Yeah. Have you ever seen uh, uh, do 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 ba, da ba da 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 do 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 da da da, da from JoJo's? Uh, I don't think I have. It's a rock insect. <laughs> this somehow fights our heroes. That uh, looks like a bunch of pops, sickle sticks, and twine. It's like a little, uh... If it looks like it can defeat, be defeated by the rolling stones, how is it a threat? Uh, it manages. I want to say that. Uh... I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. the only way I can see that as a threat is if it's bigger than a skyscraper. I think it uses its arm as like a catapult. Saw this image. Maybe the real. Da do do do. Da 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 with the friends we made along the way, except Joshi. But seriously, I think that I think that 
I think Joshu is the reason the couple people have had a bisexual awakening. And mine was John Stamos, which I probably shouldn't be. Which I don't think anyone is surprised about. Because I was. It was simpler back then. This guy is a bisexual awakening? For someone. It looks like. It or am I thinking of the other one who everyone's cosplaying right now? Uh, are you talking about Gabby? Yes. Yes, then. Yes, the wet sailor is people's bisexual awakening. Clearly. The wet sailor with four testicles. Like I said, some ones. I'm not saying mine, because. I really haven't seen much of JoJo. Just the stuff explained really quickly in the manga you gave me. Uh, and a, maybe an episode here or there, because I couldn't fall asleep and Adult Swim was on. Well, I, uh, I've seen, I've watched through the entire anime a couple times. Uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, I'm still waiting for the rest of uh, Part 6's episodes. Because Netflix decided, like, oh, we'll release one batch during December, and then we'll, eight, we'll wait, like, eight months to the next batch. Uh, that won't kill the hype dead in its tracks. Honestly, if it's Silk Song, it wouldn't. But it's not Silk Song. You can. There's a very half void, half boss character named Hornet. Mm -hmm. One of the most common lines that Hornet says is Shaw. Yeah. And what Shaw means in the urban dictionary is something hilarious for the. For the cool comic collected character uh, who has spider and the horny powers. Uh, like the actual bug for him. Mm. So. Uh, thinking with your knowledge of Jojo, which stand would you pick? Basic, I know, but Star Platinum. Uh, I'm thinking I would pick any of the. Uh... He's seven and a half feet tall. Like, I would never have to reach the top shelf again. Yeah. He might. He might throw it down onto my head, but it would be worth it to not have to reach. Yeah. Now I'm thinking for my picks would be any of the time manipulation stands. Like, uh, like Star Platinum, or The World, or Mandom, or King Crimson, or uh, Golden Record. Hey look, I finished the level. Nice. Uh, Emperor, which is gone. Um, the healing ones like Cream Starter and uh, Shining Diamond. Isn't Shining Diamond like, oh, he's dead, I can't fix that? No, wait, never mind, he's alive! Uh, I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm alive. Oh, you. You can't resurrect anybody. Okay, well, maybe if you can, if you get there, like. Really close to the end, but you can't bring anybody back. Like, right? If they, if they haven't shit their pants yet, you can bring them back. Okay. Um, I think that was a combined, uh, you know, uh, Giono and Josuke not going into the light uh, team up. 
like a refusal to go to the light. Yeah. Move into the light. I refuse. Yeah. Uh, Even if I want to, my problem I hide. So I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know That just went from JoJo to Helsing abridged. Yeah. I don't think anyone's gonna care. This game's chaotic, and we're just matching its tone. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this one requires you to do a math problem to get a uh, get a phone. It says, uh, "Do this math button and press the answer button." And you're doing this because you need help on storing your pasta. So during, so you're calling this number, and they might just be like, "Oh, hey, uh, when do you get married? What's your credit card number? What's your what's your health insurance uh, group number?" And while you're doing that, you have to attend the pot. I I just let myself die there. You have to attend the pot. Keep your cat. Keep your dog off the couch and make sure that you don't die from your bowel problem. Why are you cooking with the bowel problem? Like, you shouldn't be handling food if you have IBS. They've shut down full ass restaurants for the head chef at the IBS. Well, the people with IBS still have to cook at home. Time manipulation stands, the healing stands, and the. Yeah. And the. Um, uh, third category. Like space time, like the. Ones that are just that like cool powers to have. So the um, chocolate disco. Which would you rather have? Emperor or Sex Pistols? Sex Pistols. What about you? I think Emperor would be an easier stand because you have to actually have a gun. Like, Sex Pistols isn't the gun, it's the little bullet guys. Have to feed. I like the challenge. If anyone asks, I have a high active metabolism. Then, yeah, can you get three orders of this, this, this? That's good. I'm good. I think, uh, 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 another good pick would be Hey Ya. Do you know the Hey Ya's power? No, I do not. Hey Ya is essentially the good version of Cheat Trick. And that he's a little guy who hangs up on your shoulder. 
and gives you advice and basically uh, has uh, it's um where the hell did I just put my phone? Okay. Uh, it's a uh, the band user of uh, hey look that famous level. Nice. Uh, so that's level seven or level eight? Level seven. Wow. So now we're on to the last one, which is just a common day with your dog and saucepan. <laughs> and nuke! What? Why? So, Why a nuke of all things? Oh, uh, the it says you know you call bomb support, but it's clearly a nuke from shape and references. So you have a uh, bomb models of Fatty Man, a, a Big Boy, and a Sierra Mist. Uh, for brevity's sake, for this video, I, uh, I kept the I kept only the first barrier on this level. Uh, yeah. So Poco Loco had was so naturally lucky that he manifested Heya. Good to know. And it's uh, important to note that uh, Poco Loco entered a race across America by people who are much more talented uh, horse racers and won. Yeah, that, that checks out for JoJo in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, a joke in uh, Steel Ball 1 where he, he always sleeps and arrives late, so all the other racers are already like, have like a massive head start on them. He's like, what the hell? What's going on? How come I'm doing so bad now? And so he like, he's like annoyed. But then, uh, all the other horses have like pooped onto the track, onto like the yeah. floor ahead of them. And the horses, like, in the start are like kicking up the, you know, dirt and poop. And so and it gets onto the, uh, one of the female uh, contestants, uh, like, top, so she, like, tears it off, expo like, showing her cleavage. And he's like, oh yeah, now that's lucky. He was in the right place and right time to see boobs. Exploded. Oof. Oh. 
This is Big Hold the Bone, a very chaotic Yahtzee game. Yep. Uh, maybe I didn't just keep one failure. I just thought I did. Yeah, he totally succeeds in this go around. Because that's what you do after failing him. You automatically succeed next time. Yeah, that's a that's a lot built player experience. You just you start a game and you instantly know how to play it. Fun fact, we're playing Ori in the Blind Forest next on the hardest difficulty setting, so no one can be playing when I die. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that they'll, da that they'll complain anyway. Probably. The internet is made for two things, porn and complaining. Basically. Oh god, I'm truly about to let this death move on. Well, maybe I left five deaths in. Who can say? Not me. At least they know the common thing about IBS. You're not gonna want to climb stair, go up or down stairs with IBS. Yeah. That would be a disaster. I'd like to uh, propose a stand idea. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So the stand idea is uh, body movement, and the idea is that at initial glance, it's just a sort of like shape shifter ability. So you have like become big thing. Or become small thing. Like, yeah. And I had the idea of what if you used your cells, like you put your hand to the back of someone's neck, and then you can just meld yourself into that person's like body. Like Ben 10's upgrade, but with biomatter. Uh, I like that. But isn't that what isn't that what purple hermit can do in a way? Like yeah. he touches a team, uh, a screen, and you can see inside the person. Well, that, or, like they perform surgery on him. Yeah. Well, that was uh, to fight the level lovers because it was inside jo uh, Joseph Spring. But like the idea of just like. The kind of way that like the pillow men used to just kind of like put themselves through people. Yeah. But like the idea of like oh, I I put my fingers through somebody's neck and now I just have a hostage. It's, if you kill me, my fingers are just gonna manifest and destroy their neck. Or that you know like you become like. Of a small like uh, fly, and then you fly on someone's neck, and then like invade their body, so that you can like control them or like have or be like a voice, you know, telling them what to do. 
Yeah. And then, so like the when the character is evil, Google the he or she will like blackmail people into like doing things. But like when the when they're good, they they're basically like the team healer. Localization they would be like bodies in motion. Yep. Would that be what you call it? Bodies in motion. Well, they. My, uh. I would call it a body moving after the Beastie Boys song. Body moving. Nice. So I have the idea that at some point that uh, the sand user would go against like the big bad, and then you can have like the speedwagon foundation be like, oh, you know the. Body movement, stand user did die. We just have this, you know, mass of them in like this enriched uh, liquid. Yeah, um, they just eventually will heal up back to their original body mass. Oh no, I lost an arm. Here, I can fix it. Three episodes later, it's. It's still a nub. What the hell? It just takes a it takes a little time. Three episodes later you back to normal. Well that, that depends uh, if you're using the uh, part four or part uh, five uh, time metric. Which is either a summer or one week. Yeah, that would have, that would be that would be a question for the writers at that point. Um, no, part one took place in the years. Part two is probably like. It was like a month. We was a uh, fifty days. And we're almost out of recording. So we should probably uh, uh, say our goodbyes. Like I said, this was Hold the Phone. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next episode of whatever we play next. See you next time. I'm Pixel and this is Charlotte. Saying bye. Bye.